What's your name? My name? Yeah. Boy, though, P. How'd you find music? Uh, my pops, he, I grew up on a lot of soul music, like Marvin Gaye was a big one, Luther Vandross, but yeah. My dad, I guess he just loved music. So when I was younger, niggas, we'd be coming back from somewhere, come back from our guitar, or just at wherever we going. And he'd be playing some real shit. And I was fucking with it as a young kid. So like, and then I was also, I was big as hell on Michael Jackson. Like big, like that nigga was like, nigga, you know, that nigga was my icon. Like, I'm sure it was for like everybody, but I really feel like like, I felt like I was going to be the next Michael Jackson on some shit. It was weird as hell, but I thought, like, I was obsessed with it, bro. And through that, like, I've just always been fascinated. Man. This is what you wanted to do for the rest of your life. Uh, damn. So it, when I really like truthfully came to the decision, like I'm about to actually start doing it. I was with the homie Mo. Shout out Mo. We was in our nigga uh, Philip basement. Phil used to make beats for us and shit. Hard. Um, but we was in his basement and we was making a song and niggas was just having a great time. Like we was we was lit. We was having a great time. Niggas was laughing. Just vibing. It was a good vibe. You know, you just know when you're in a good environment that you feel like at peace at. And I was one of them spots. And niggas was just like, bro, we could dare do this shit. Like, we got something special. And I mean, like, yeah, that's that was really the day. And that was like three years ago. But um, I've I've always known I've always known I wanted to do music. I just kind of like I was in environments where it was it wasn't encouraged, and it was like it's just a hobby and shit. But like I could remember as far as like being in fourth grade, fifth grade, like or middle school even. You could ask any of my teachers. Like anytime it was a project, and they say do something creative, I'll do a rap. I'll make a song. Whether I did it on my headphones on the on the computer that we had or like. I got with the homies and they recorded me. Like I always wanted to do music shit, but like, I don't know. I didn't really, growing up, I didn't have a mind of my own. I was just kind of like on some, let me do what's, what's real, what's hot. And I would like try to play basketball or run track. I was good in track, I was pretty fast, but it was always music for me. And uh, goddamn high school, I just didn't want to do it because everybody started doing it. Like I finally was like, yeah, I love, I love music. I love, I love all types of music. I love listening. I love studying it. But everybody was doing it. I was like, I don't want to be another nigga. Cause in high school, like sophomore year, that's when I got into my bag. Like, nigga, I, like, I want to be my own person. So I was doing my own shit. And then I would sit there and look at music, and I was like, I love music, but niggas is doing it. I don't want to do what everybody doing. So I was like, I'm not gonna do it. But I mean, I'd be writing my raps and shit like that. But, I didn't want to do it to the homie Mark. Shout out Mark. Mark was like, nigga, if you special with this shit, you going to make it. Like, why are you worried about other niggas? As soon as he said that, it clicked. And that was around the same time me and Mo was in the studio. So, like, that shit is all connected. What you want? That Joe, what you want? What you want? On the low, what you want? What's the stop? Yeah. One thing I will say, like, I don't like 
I don't like giving out my sauce, even though it ain't really much to it. But when you're making, what? Always, not even because I I do both. But most of the time, try to improvise your hooks. Try to improvise your hooks. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people already like freestyle their whole songs and shit like that. But I don't do that. Chill, don't do that. Cause you wanted to have more meaning connect. That's the main goal of this music shit, man. If you're an artist out there, like that's the main shit. Always try to connect, bro. Yeah, make it personal, make it authentic, make it true to yourself, but always try to connect. But with that being said, the best way I connect is typically when I improvise my hooks. I ain't improvise this hook, but what I do do, and <laughs> immature as hell, doo doo, fuck y'all niggas. If what I do is like always, is I always improvise the layering. With me, when it's not, like if I do a, a, a regular hook, you know, uh, yeah, bitch, uh, uh, uh. And then I got a little 16, blah, 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 blah. like I'm gonna listen to it and it may be a great composition of a song, but it be feeling empty and dry to me. Remember like people's attention span is like that. People say now it's shorter, but it's really always been that way. It's just that every, that this ain't no fucking philosophy lesson. What I'm trying to say is you want to make it interesting for the listener and you want to have fun with it. This is how I have my fun, bro. Like, artistry, you know what I'm saying? So, always try to improvise your, like, the, the, the layering and shit. Just go along with the melody, make some shit up. If you feel something, record it. And then, later, you could goddamn delete, edit, do all that shit. But when you're making the music, bro, just make the fucking music, my nigga. You feel me? That was long-winded. Let me get back to this shit, bro. What do you see yourself? In the next year. Nigga, did you write questions in your notes? Nah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, uh, in the next year? Yeah. In the next year, I, I have faith. Well, I believe wholeheartedly, but you can't. I've been big on, like, I don't know what to expect. I just do, and whatever happens, I move accordingly. But by the end of 2022, I expect to be... Um, a respected local artist at least I'm, I'm in no rush I'm in no rush because I have a lot of shit to work on as an artist there's a lot of shit I want to accomplish and perfect before I'm on a big scale so by the end of by the end of 22 by the end of 2022 I plan to be like uh, a local a respected local artist like like where niggas in the cities like Yo, look out for that nigga Lloyd O.P. He he next he next up. He coming like he really hard. So I mean, at this point right now, it's before the EP, this before the album, this before anything that I seriously. I've only I only have smoke out. That's like the only serious shit. So I mean, yeah, maybe like the homies I know and shit like that know I make music, but like it's not. I ain't I ain't no De Niro. I ain't no Elevator J. I ain't no Ruben, I ain't no Mavi. So it's like, by the end of 2022, I expect to be at least on that level to where it's like, oh yeah, he a young cat making music out the city. Look out for him, like he hard. Like where I'm respected as a local artist. Cause right now I feel like I'm just like another nigga making music. But very soon I believe niggas is gonna gravitate to the, to the, to the music. It's just about staying consistent and shit. What motivates you every day to keep pushing forward with music? Uh, honestly, bro, this answer changes so often, but like, I I went to so like this year, I um, I started going to showcases, and I was performing that shit. And I'm thinking, I'm going into these shits like, nigga, like, I'm the illest. Like, I'm about to blow these niggas out the water. Like, I know I'm different than these niggas. And you sit there and you watch all these niggas in the city, just in the city. It's not like we out in Atlanta, we out in Cali. Like, we're in our own city. We in Charlotte. And I'm watching, like, 15 niggas perform. And they all ill. And then it's like, I think I'm ill. 
all these niggas think the exact same thing about themselves. So, how is that going to be determined? What's going to separate me from everybody else? And that's just hard work. Like, you have to outwork everybody. There's no excuse. You have to outwork everybody if you want to be the best. There's no room to just be doing the bare minimum or doing what you think is okay. I could spend the whole day doing this shit and still feel like I ain't doing enough. Like, you have you have to outwork everybody. You And you have to constantly push yourself in uncomfortable situations because if you don't, like, it's not... It, like you, that's really it. You have to outwork everybody and everything. You have to study the music. You gotta go days where you just listening and reading lyrics and deciphering how this nigga do his rhyme schemes, or you just gotta work on how you sound over the track, working on your clarity, working on your pronunciation, enunciation, all that shit. Like you have to, you have to perfect this shit and be working harder than everybody because it's somebody. It don't even matter. I could be a regular nigga. I got 30 monthly listeners on Spotify. It's a nigga with five trying to kill me with his raps right now. Like he trying to, and I'm doing, I'm trying to do the same thing to another nigga. So you have to, it's like when we used to go running, like when all of us used to go running. I used to think this shit when we was running, it was weird shit. But basically we all be running and like Lee will be in front of me or some shit. He'll be like up ahead and he running, but he chilling cause he know. He got the gap. And it's me. I'm behind him. And because I could see his back, I have a goal. Like, I'm about to get this nigga. Like, I'm going to get that nigga. And I'm 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 blazing. I'm like, yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a dust that nigga when I get to him. But when you in first place and you running, nigga, you don't got no, you don't got nothing. You can only use your own motivation to move yourself forward. It's niggas behind you that's. Looking at your back hard and shit like I'm about to hock your ass. Like I swear to God on everything I love. So you have to find something to keep going and always keep that passion and outwork everybody. But that's only really one of the, the main, 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 main reason is all about purpose. And like with purpose, I just wanna inspire like of course everybody's saying this now, so it's be, it's even becoming a cliche term, but it's still so true. Everything I say is cliche, and that's like the greatest act in life is to inspire and i want to inspire niggas because like like i say like in my current situation it's just my purpose is i want to be a voice to the people who just feel trapped whether it be self-doubt whether it be their family uh, life conditions whatever it may be they feel trapped confined and feel like there's no way like there's no way possible like everything is against them to get to where they want to be. I want to be that because I feel like if I do that, not if, when. When I do do that, it's like niggas, it's like, yo, this nigga was going through this, this was going through that, which like, I don't like to get into details now, but it's all going to be taught in the music. Believe that, but it's like, this nigga was going through this, this was nigga was dealing with this, this nigga was right here, blah, blah. blah. And now he doing this. How? I, I want for those people who feel like me, who feel confined, who feel trapped and constricted, like, or restricted, whatever the word is. Like, they can't ask how no more. It's just like, this nigga did it, so we could all do it. 